The question, can a neurologist detect the causes of dizziness or vertigo? Might be best to start with your family doctor. If the dizziness slash vertigo is peripheral, for example benign paroxysmal positional vertigo, BPPD, vertigo usually significantly worsened with head movements, meaning that it is arising from dysfunction of the inner ear. Seeing either a physiotherapist or physician experienced in performing the Epley maneuvers is probably the best first step. If the diagnosis of BPPD is certain, there are numerous online sources describing the Epley maneuvers that you can do yourself at home. Be careful if uncertain, performing these maneuvers in cases of rarer causes of vertigo like a brainstem stroke secondary to a vertebral artery dissection could be dangerous. There are many other peripheral causes including Meniere's disease and labyrinthitis for which the Epley maneuvers are not useful. Ear nose and throat physicians specializing in vertigo are likely the best specialists to see if the vertigo is peripheral. Many neurologists, or at least this one, don't have anything to add if the vertigo is peripheral, we're more useful. If there is any suggestion that the vertigo is central, usually arising from the brainstem or its connections. My general rule of thumb is that if it is just vertigo with no other associated features it could well be peripheral. However, if vertigo and other symptoms or signs, double vision, headache, significant neck pain especially if at the back of the new on one side, facial numbness or weakness, difficulty swallowing, imbalance when not vertiginous, abnormal pupils, slurred speech, a neurologist is probably the best person to start with. Having said that, isolated vertigo without any of those other symptoms or signs can infrequently be caused by central processes like brainstem strokes, MS etc. Advice provided here is of a general nature only and is never a good substitute for an in-person assessment and advice by a nurse or doctor who is involved in your healthcare team.